Oh, that's dreadful. Oh. <laughs> mm. No. Right, okay, <laughs> so you're doing this and you need to do this. <laughs> you're caddying with a bottle of gin in the bag, yeah? Welcome to episode two of the Slingsby Golf Academy 2022. So far, you've met the four cadets taking part in the academy. Now it's time to meet the professionals who will be looking after them on their six-month journey. First up, we're going up to Glen Eagles, ooh, swanky, to meet with Judy Murray, who's teamed up with her PJ professional, Matthew Reed. Right, Judy, welcome to Glen Eagles. Are you ready for this, for the Slingsley Academy? I am more than ready. Good, good, good. We couldn't <laughs> have picked a better day. Right, so club-wise, what are you thinking to get it up that slope? Uh, pitch? Yeah. Ideal. That's better. That's really good. I am Matthew Reid and I am coaching Judy Murray. I mean, really, for me, it is a lot of practice, to be honest. If she, if she kind of takes on board what we're saying, I mean, I can stay and stand and preach for as long as possible, but if Judy kind of takes more on board and then really starts to put it into practice, she's got the competitive spirit, she's got the eye-to-ball coordination, she's going to be more than fine. She's just, that was just a wee bit stabby. Yeah, yeah. Even from the first lesson, it was you could, you could tell she had the right motion and, and the body movement was the right thing. Essentially, like I said from the very start, it's like a forehand in tennis. You need to transfer your weight with that body motion. So really, it's just kind of refining a little bit of club head where it is and just kind of, it's just that practice, to be honest. I know it's going to be difficult because learning something brand new at my age, it's not as easy as when you are far more open and receptive, uh, less fearful when you're younger. Really good, really, really good. Right, next up it's Burr Hill Golf Club and Anna Woolhouse, who will be looked after by PGA professional Joanna de Sapiera. Ooh, that wasn't bad, was it? Oh, no, so those bays just opened two weeks ago. We're going to go over the basics since you haven't been around for about Weeks or so. Yeah. Hi, I'm Joanna de Sa Pereira and I'm coaching Anna Woolhouse. Good. That feel better? Slightly. It's exciting, it's really fun because it gives me the opportunity to coach someone who has no idea about golf to teach them and mentor them and hopefully do a good job at it. There we go. You can't overload them because no beginner golfer is going to know what the technique is, what the words mean, or everything else. It's keeping it simple and working on two principles at a time. Oh, overthinking. Stop. Am I a good listener? I think, yeah. I think I, am. I, I, think I work better if someone really sort of explains and says, do A, B, C, this is how you do it, rather than off you go, hit a few balls. So yeah, I think I am a good listener. See how, you're, see how you're a lot more stable? Yeah. That's a lot better. Next up, we're off to Sundridge Park Golf Club, where Dr Zoe Williams is being looked after by PGA trainee Annie O'Connor. Marvellous. OK, so let's first start over here. We'll, say, we'll start at a one foot putt and we'll work our way back to 10 feet. We'll go through the basics of how to hold it, how to stand, and then get you hitting a few putts. Sound good? Yeah. Hello, I'm Amy O'Connor and I'm coaching Dr Zoe Williams. Nice, really good. So Zoe's great, she's naturally athletic which definitely helps. Hasn't played golf before so clean slate, she's never putted before but you can see she takes the things quite quickly, she stands over it, she looks quite natural so we've definitely got a good base to work with there. But you would be aiming sort of right side of that hole okay. to let it then curve back. I'm glad that my pr I've actually been paired up with a woman and I'm really pleased about that because I think that I am more comfortable taking instructions from a woman <laughs> than I am from a man. Um, you can ask my partner and any of my exes who will concur that I'm not very good at being told what to do by a man. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Right, next up, we're off to Minchinhampton Golf Club, where PGA professional Stuart Little, not the mouse, is teamed up with Zara Tyndall.
I am quite excited, actually, to be able to learn how to play a round of golf. It's going to be exciting. I'm a fair weather. I am Stuart Little, and I'm going to be coaching Zara Tyndall. Fantastic. It's always interesting when you get someone relatively new into the game to see where they are instinctively. And, um, you know, Zara instinctively, as we said, is, is, is very good. So the grip, the posture is, is fantastic. That's, that's the fundamentals. From there, learning the mechanics of the golf swing. But again, they, they look pretty sound. They look quite natural. So for me, it's about introducing every aspect of the game. And that would be chipping, it would be bunker play, it would be putting. But I think probably the most important thing is getting used to the golf course. Good. Brilliant. I love being part of a sport. I love talking to people in sport, um, whether they're playing or watching or filming or, you know, everyone's so engrossed in it and it becomes, you know, part of their lives. Um, and it has to because, you know, it's, if you want to get any good, any good at it, you've got, you got to really make sure that your, your life is about the sport. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Mum's not a big fan of golf. She thinks it ruins a good walk. Uh, my dad loves golf, so yeah, my brother plays. Um, I, you know, maybe we should all come out with you. Why not? Family Actually, answer. no, I don't want to go out with them. <laughs> <laughs> Probably start a family argument or something. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to the journey. Just, yeah, trying to trying to get better and I think it's always great to do it alongside people because that makes you try even harder. So I work as a GP in the NHS and, and I work in quite a deprived area. I work in Peckham in London. So one of the things that I've sort of subspecialised in within general practice is about the health benefits of physical activity. Yeah, I feel like she's explaining it really well. And it's quite difficult for me to even differentiate any difference in feel between a putt that's too hard and a putt that's too soft. So I guess it's one of these things that I've got to put in the time, the hours, if I can find them, um, and start to just, yeah, just finesse that and start to be able to feel the difference. For anyone out there, there is a benefit, whether it's a physical health benefit, a mental health benefit, a social health benefit. Um, and if, in fact, if every single person in this country did at least 30 minutes of activity per week, we would eliminate one in five early deaths. It's that important. <laughs> there we go. So, when, when you actually connect, this is going to sound mad. You know it's good, you know it's working, but I don't know what it is yet. But it's, it feels good but I just kind of want to know what it is, so I do it every time. That's the frustrating thing, I think. There we go. Do you know what? It's not just fellow ladies that have been really excited about it. I'm actually impressed about how many men are behind this getting more females involved. That, that's the cool thing as well. Judy is going to have the most amazing hand-eye coordination, isn't she? Because tennis coach, mum to two incredible tennis players and also you've got Zara Olympic horse riding champion and her husband lives and breathes golf so she's got that as well I think it's very competitive as well I am I am competitive but I I think I'm more realistic <laughs> yeah, oh look at that a bit of spin it, it's been great I've had so many people saying to me oh you're playing golf uh, inviting me to play, let's have a game sometime, just like overdose of, of that, and which of course I'm not quite ready for, but by doing this, by the, the four of us, you know, saying, right, we're going to completely start from scratch, we're going to go open it up to everybody, let everybody see um, what's gone well, what's not gone so well, as you say, the, the whole warts and all thing. But, you know, if that can encourage others to have a go, I mean, we all learn through our mistakes. That is just life. So, of course, not everything is going to go, go right. It's always when you're coaching, it's not about what you know as the coach, it's what you can get the player to learn. And so keeping it simple is 
very important, and I think the older you get, the more important that message is. Brilliant. It's not a lot I can... That one's in. <laughs> <laughs> the cadets are getting the golfing bug and making progress. Slow, I grant you, but progress. Remember, the winner of the August playoff gets to play in the BMW PGA Championship Pro-Am. You think they're nervous now? It's exciting, it's really fun because it gives me the opportunity to coach someone who has no idea about golf, to teach them and mentor them, and hopefully do a good job at it. It's nice that you're doing the, going on the journey together, like safety in numbers, I guess, is the thing. And I think, you know, you, building friendships, learning a new sport, and also having each other to support each other, you know, uh, through this journey is going to be really special. So I'm excited about it. I mean, it's exciting. Um, it's definitely an exciting challenge, and it's good to see where we can get in six months' time. So I think because I'm a complete beginner, I haven't picked up any bad habits, so I'm starting from scratch. I'm very lucky that I've got a fantastic pro who's going to be working with me. Um, and I don't know how it's going to go, but you've got to look at these things positively, so I'm hopeful. I think I'm going to do it. I think I'll be all right. I mean, for me, it's really about enjoyment, to be honest. Uh, as long as she's coming out and enjoying herself, and she's getting on the golf course and, and playing OK and kind of getting that, getting that enthusiasm from it, I'm totally fine with that. If I play in it, that's great. It, personally, right now, that would terrify me because I'm so wayward with, with my shots it, and, and so many people watching you doing something that you're not very good at. But it remains to be seen how, you know, where we are in six months' time. But whether I'm playing in it or not, I will be there supporting. I will be Mrs. Motivator. You will hear me. I will get the, I'll get the fist pump out. We're in it to win, of course we are. But I think um, you know, if we can incorporate some, some fun and some humour and develop all the skills that are necessary, then the process of competing will hopefully take care of itself. It would be amazing to be um, a part of such an incredible occasion and yeah, putting yourself out there. You've got to do it in sport, haven't you? You've got to make sure that you're, you've done the homework. You've done the work to get you there, and then hopefully that'll take you through the, the scary bit. Until next time, it's farewell from the Slingsby Golf Academy. Right, I'm off for a round of golf.